Welcome to Caesarea Maritima, an ancient port and Roman colony right here on the edge of the Mediterranean Sea. Paul came through here on many occasions on his missionary journeys, and it was on one of his travels that he first met Priscilla and Aquila in Corinth. They had been driven out of Rome by the Edict Claudius against the Jews. So he lived with them for about a year and a half, working alongside them as tent makers while the church was growing in their home. And I wish I could have had a seat at their kitchen table and heard their conversations about theology and ministry. So Priscilla is mentioned six different times in scripture, always alongside her husband and ministry partner, Aquila. How I wish we knew their love story. But we do know she was a hardworking businesswoman and she worked alongside Paul as a co-laborer in the ministry and helped build the church in their home. And she was loyal to Paul, even to the point of risking her life for him. Romans 16, three and four tells us, greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus. They risked their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets in their home. So in Acts 24 through 26, it was here in Caesarea Maritima that Paul made his defense and shared the message of his gospel in chains one last time before Governor Festus and King Agrippa, and they sent him to Rome. While he was languishing in a cold dungeon, Paul said his final goodbye in a letter he wrote to Timothy and to the church he loved back in Ephesus. In the last book he would ever write before being beheaded by the cruel Emperor Nero, he penned these words. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Greet Priscilla and Aquila and the household of Anisiphorus. Erastus stayed in Corinth and I left Trimiphius sick in Miletus. Do your best to get here before winter. Eubulus greets you and so do Pudens, Linnaeus, Claudia and all the brothers and sisters. The Lord be with you in spirit. Grace be with you all. Girls, please don't miss this. In his deep loneliness and heartache, Paul lists the men and women who have stood by his side and been loyal with him to the end. And he names Priscilla. She is among these women. She fiercely protected the gospel at all costs, and we are here because of it. I can still smell the salt air and feel that wind whipping off the Mediterranean Sea, the closest I could get to Priscilla. Paul racked up more frequent flyer miles than I will see in a lifetime, jet setting around the world with a global mission. Just trace his journeys and see how quickly you get dizzy. The man who brought the gospel to the known Gentile world did it in part due to Priscilla and Aquila. Priscilla lived all over the place, but she never spent a day in a comfort zone. Up against culture and constantly in danger, she turned her home, her marriage, and her career into ministry. She knew she was called, not just to climb the corporate ladder, but to carry the gospel wherever she went. Her presence left a mark. The open immorality around her didn't scare her, but the thought of people dying without hearing about Jesus did. Her story reminds us that we too can find our voice in a loud world. As you pack your bags to travel with Priscilla, tuck these questions into your carry-on. What if we left the safety of our comfort zone to step into our calling? What if we cared more about our culture than criticized it? What if we chose compassion over competition? We can leave a mark on earth by making a difference for eternity. Priscilla invites us to love without limits and dare to do extraordinary things.